When it comes to schooling and stuff, in Brazil, it's like, no, you gotta be a doctor or a soccer player. We have the saints, you know, like those, like a big angels and St. Paul and so those big statues, like great, like amazing art, but it's all white. Man, they need some pain. You know? We need to do something with the saints. So I did abstract pieces with the saints. Nobody saw me doing it, but of course, they already knew who did it. I was the type of student that didn't care about anything but art, you know? They went bananas. What are you doing? Like, you're going to hell. God, Tiago, you expel. You're done. You just went crazy graffiti on St. Paul. I was like a bad, like I got expelled from three schools. My family ended up moving to U.S. in 95. When I got here, I was kind of shocked to leave here. Like, kind of like, you know, you're in a totally different environment now. Totally, you're really in that culture now. So it's kind of like, oh, I know English a little bit. But when I got here, it was just like uh, ridiculous. Like, I don't understand, nothing to understand. Or you go into a place and somebody say, what's up? And you're trying to understand what he's saying. Kind of like, sup, 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 I don't know. Like, you know, like, sup, what is sup? So my learning process was like, okay, let me go to the cartoons. So my schooling was cartoon and newspaper. I don't think I had a choice to fulfill my dream as artist. You know, find myself here in America. We don't have that much of choice, but we need to work to survive. You gotta pay the bills. But I was being creative, I was painting still, I was doing all this stuff. Ah, oh, to be an artist, it was like always the dream. I was going to different artists, exhibitions and museums, or a solo show of somebody. I was congratulating them because I was like, man, I wanna do that so much one day. Just like I really want to get everything out of me to people see my brain, they see my ideas, they see the, the concepts. That's like my goal. A really close family friend that support my family when they got here helped me through a lot, but I didn't realize, you know, like I was going to really a home of a pastor. So that kind of got me to understand more God and started going to church. Oh, I gave my life to Jesus, great. But I was weak in my journey. Like I was not doing anything different to be closer to God. After the great times, I got married and my heart was completely lost. I thought I was close to God, but I was really far. Uh, the devil really throw a bait. He don't even feel it is a bait. I got really bad in alcohol completely lost it. When you start realizing or trying to change or trying to be somebody in God, that's how you're gonna start pulling the line back. You think like, oh, nothing's gonna happen, everything's great. He understood like, okay, Tiago is going to a direction of alcohol and then lost and not understanding anything and about to lose a family of like seven years, eight years married. You're about to lose all. He's great where he at right now. So he was happy with that, and he was giving me line, and I was continually being drunk out of my mind. Uh, from drinking every day, drinking twice a day, to going to only drinking from coffee in the morning with Jack Daniels. Before you sleep, half a bottle, and still being creative. It was kind of like surreal kind of in a way. And one moment I was in my studio and I knew I was drunk. I finished a bottle. And I just felt this urge of start painting. I start seeing colors and I start seeing moves of the brush. Like I started seeing it and I was like in my head like, what did I drink? Like what did, I was feeling kind of like a back to normal. That feeling that a long time I didn't feel. I could hear in my spirit, I hear in that moment, I was like, God, I just keep repeating. I love you so much. Like, even when you're in the worst, I still love you the most. Drunk, and God is just still speaking and using me. I think that was my real salvation, my legit own experience.
was a legit touch of the Holy Spirit. And that moment on was just like experience after experience of healing, of understanding. Every day is a chance for you to do better. And that's why I do so much about that in my art now, because it's so real to me there that God is still have a purpose for me, even though I was in the worst. I started going to Hillsong, New York. I'm not gonna lie, I went to a couple service drunk. You know, because that was a journey. Because I'm having problems with marriage. I'm having problems with this. Why can't I even sell one canvas as an artist? And you're like, oh my God, what I'm doing? The stress day, right? Every day a new thing coming up. I'm saved and healed. So I start paying attention more on my daily walk. But I'm in the middle of the subway. Somebody sit next to you and say, tap you like this in your, your leg and say, God wants something from you. Not drinking today or not drinking tomorrow. You don't realize when you're in that moment, but there is people praying for you. My wife uh, said, you know what, I'm done. I'm moving back to Florida. I can't take this. And I was like, man, I'm doing better. We, we can't work it. No, I'm going to Florida. You can do whatever you want. So in that case, it was just kind of like, all right, let me pack the bags and go to. You know, let me, let me find my experience with God, continues working here in Florida. I went to uh, this amazing church that was, is here in Miami. I started going to every Tuesday. Every Tuesday was speaking to me. Like, it was kind of like, that was for me. It was like ridiculous. Every time they would give a word, I was going to the studio, I want to paint. But in the midst of that, God healed our marriage, me and my wife. Healed things that was broken. He'll give that hope that you never had. So He will restore things that was always there for you. I was praying and meditating and trying to get really close to my art and trying to see like, you know, what will be my next message? Uh, I just felt like this, this name coming about, kind of like, you know, love is simple, Tiago, love is simple. I do a lot of hearts, I do a lot of love message, a lot of positive things, but I was really not getting it. And my wife was pregnant. She was like in the last month of pregnancy and I started getting overwhelmed. I started like building this complication in my head. Like I started building this polluted, if I'm gonna be a great dad, if I'm gonna be this, if I'm gonna be that. So I started putting all these ideas in my head and I couldn't even paint one piece for this whole solo show that I had. So it was like, stress to the max. Go to, to the hospital and we're about to give the baby. I was walking to the operation room. I felt this calming, very calm, very loving, very selfless feeling. All my worries kind of like moved out of me. And as I hear the heartbeat, you know, like you can, see, you can hear, and it was just calming as one of the doctor cleaned the baby and mentioned, you know, like this is your real masterpiece. And it's just like, you know, love is simple. And to my head, it was like, wow, that's like confirmation there, kind of like that's what God wants to talk about, like the simplicity of love. And that moment on, I was just like, wow, I need to produce. I need to just go to the studio. Even though, like, when my wife was in the hospital, I sneak in to just go and paint and just, it's just I had to release all the energy that God was just putting in me. And I started producing and just creating, and God keep it, like, blessing with message, and He keep it pounding me with this whole, like, you know, simplicity. Love is simple. If you don't apply that to your life, everything else is going to be complicated. When I'm doing my installations, a lot of people ask me, Tiago, so why you do your heart with the X's, the crosses, and you know, the wings? That built up within the moment of journey that I had. It's kind of like, you know, you gotta die daily of your own flesh. Oh, why the wings? You know, like you put a lot of wings. Oh my God, I love it. Yeah, it's, it means freedom. God gave you freedom to choose. You have a chance every day 
to love more, to do more, to be more. The taping, the collage, I feel the collage, I do it because I feel life is a bunch of collage. So you see a lot of influence from artists that I like, you know, like the Keith Haring stuff I have in now, the, the fashion that I love the most right now. I see almost like phases and layers. I interpret that as life. I use Life magazine covers, original covers from 1960s and 1970s. We're still the same humans. It's just different setup now. For a long time, I struggle in the beginning as artist and being Christian. How can I combine a deeper message, like inside my paintings, when people that doesn't know Christ, what they look at is like, wow, I understand where this is coming from. Usually what I do, like, I use a lot of vivid colors. Nothing too complicated. I'm usually, I'm the type of artist that I, I put so many layers on it. I'm gonna have a major background that's gonna have a lot of layers. But the piece in the front is gonna be very simple. I have a series of four colors that I wanna major use. So it'd be the orange, the blue, the pink, and the yellow. I think like we're so covered in this, like a crazy setup behind us, but it's actually so simple in front of us. That's my art on top. We can rise above everything else and just focus on the main thing. Last night was incredible. The ultimate goal of like art is kind of like you want to have your own solo show. You want to present the best that you can do. My art is very abstract. You can have your own interpretation. When people walk in and saw it, it was amazing to see that they could relate. They understood the whole concept of the collage behind it, the art in front of it. It was very special. We gotta be more intentional when it comes to love. In my language, and in Portuguese is amor. And that would uh, like I have written in pretty much everything because that's me. This is a Christian art? I don't know. I'm an artist that believe in Christ. Art is an expression of your soul in a way that people understand. When you really give yourself completely to God, every painting I feel is the touch of heaven. It's not you touching no more, but God's touching it. Love is simple, but we humans complicate things. Hey, this is Tiago Magro, and you're watching This Is Me TV.